Hey everybody, Stone Jay here. And about 40 ish degrees, kind of crappy outside, so Hong Kong Stud is taking it easy today. But I wanted to come to you uh, with a couple of resources and a giveaway. Uh, on the Hong Kong Stud channel, only on YouTube, not on Facebook. Um, will be a playlist for resources and that's where you can find over time uh, reviews and recommendations for uh, primarily knowledge books magazines you know classes um, but also uh, resources for what I believe are good values for the homestead um, so we'll start out with number one here uh, Onk Homestead resource farmers market uh, or farmers market sorry farmers almanac um, started in the late 1700s um, tips tricks knowledge planting guides uh, you've got your weather pattern predictions in there you've got articles on um, how to care for plants uh, things to watch for for changes in the weather um, some old how-to on um, basically homesteading or farming or gardening invaluable invaluable when you're planning out your your year and this is the time you need to be doing that if you haven't done it already planning out your year ahead with gardening and uh, pasture rotations and uh, animal inoculations these these sorts of things um, have this farmer's almanac next to you and check the dates you know give yourself two three days ahead and before or ahead and after um, what's on there what's in the book for that particular date and look at what the information is um, it'll really help you streamline your planning for the year and as a general resource help you do a better job of uh, predictable planning so things will work better farmers almanac this one the old farmers almanac um, founded in 1792 and published by, uh, well, you can find it at almanac.com. Uh, we don't have, I don't get anything if you, if you buy online or subscribe to their other services. Fantastic resource, especially in this planning stage. If you're not deep into your planning stage for next year 2022 already um you're behind the eight ball winter time is your time for preparation second resource that i'll recommend and there's a very good chance it's the only magazine i'll ever, ever recommend but it, i might recommend another magazine um on very rare occasions but not subscriptions. The only magazine I subscribe to is Countryside and Small Stock Journal. Uh, I've subscribed to it for years. I've subscribed to other magazines. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who they are, but um, they're pretty well known. And uh, They've moved off in very commercial directions. Um, one of them used to be a very back to the land oriented magazine and became very commercial. Don't need it, uh, don't want it. <laughs> um, Countryside Magazine is full of feedback letters and how to from people that are actually doing it like us, like you wanna do. It's information based on not only 
good research, but the benefit of experience. And you really, you can't beat that. Um, I am, I'm not an expert on anything, no particular subject matter, I'm not an expert on any of it, I am an expert on what works for me, take these resources and apply them to your own experience and become an expert on what works for you. Don't be going out there starting YouTube channels telling people what does and does not work, period. That's all there is to it, because that's the way you do it. Take the information from these resources and future resources and run with it. Make it yours. Adapt it. Change it. Um, climates, agricultural, USDA growing zones, things like that, they all uh, require just little tweaks. So take the information you get from these resources and other resources and play with it. You're going to have failures. You're going to have disappointments. That's just part of the homesteading life. That's part of life in general. But you adapt and you adjust to make it work for you. And that's what you become an expert on, what works for you, uh, as well as what doesn't. So this is the first of many. I have tons of books that I'll go through as they pop up around the homestead, um, provide you resources that you can learn from. Just please adapt them to your particular situation, whether it's your geography or your uh, family situation, whatever it is. Um, but these two for sure. The Old Farmer's Almanac for your planning and Countryside and Small Stock Journal. Fantastic. These are going to be my top two recommendations to start feeding your brain before you jump knee deep into homesteading every single time. Now, because we've just restarted the channel and because uh, people have been giving me some good feedback, somebody out there, not on, you, not on Facebook, there will be a link to this on Facebook. Um, under on homestead but you have to go to the YouTube channel on this video I want to comment give me a thumbs up too but I want to comment on this video about why these resources would be helpful for you to begin your homestead journey or, or improve your homestead journey somebody one of those comments is going to get a year's subscription to Countryside from Onk Homestead. Give the video a thumbs up and comment down there and let us know how these resources will help you get started or improve your homestead experience. Thanks for watching. Talk with you real soon and hope you have a great day.